so we left left off our last main session with uh, downtime days of two weeks. One of those weeks, I think the more recent one, you guys are going on a bounty hunting expedition on your own. It's actually the first week. Thanks. Then it's the first week, which would be better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you heard of a man wearing a deer skull mask who has an, a pet owl who is seen on the edges of forests above the cliff but doesn't come out and it's starting to cause rumors of like nightmarish rumors among the people that live in the outskirt villages on the cliff top near the military base What's your plan? I mean, obviously, we're just, we have to go to the forest first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you head out. You go through the first gate. You see that there's typical. Actually, it's pretty dull, depending on what time of day you go out. Um, I'm guessing relatively early morning. Yeah. There's not a lot of traffic. It's primarily just groggy soldiers drinking tea and not really paying too much attention because they're not paid enough for that. Uh, you go through the second gate where it's a little more heavily guarded because that's their outer wall. Uh, as you go up around the corner... Um, and towards the forest. Uh, do you remember from the Hunter's Guild that the area in the forest is dark enough due to how dense the covering is that it is almost like nighttime? And as you're approaching through, I believe, what it was, the waist tie brush to get there, um, roughly on the edge of the forest, near the area of text that says City of the Dead, near the D, up in the distance, towards the upper edge of the forest where the Hunter's Guild is, uh, you see... A figure dressed in black openly revealing himself to you. And turns around and walks back into the forest. What the fuck? Uh, can I get a perception check from both of you? As I pull my dice, my uh, roommate's dice off the shelf behind me. Sixteen. What about you, other human? Milo. Yeah. Perception. Dice. Your funny dice. Try to open a box. Natural twenty. <laughs> Great. What the fuck? Well, that's a good opening. I love this dice. Be sure to re be sure to remember that you get experience points for natural I ones know. and twenties. I know. I'm okay. just sitting here like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> that's a great opener. I 
loves his pipes. <laughs> so, uh, this, I'm going to say with the natural spun, you're able to see the full detail of the photo, including the stuff he's carrying on him. Uh, let me put it in out of character because that works. Oh my. Well, uh, he seems to be adorned in some very dark clothes with some weapons. Uh, that's I want the sword on his back. <laughs> he got the sword on his back and another one in his hand. His and mask's a little well. weird, though. I feel like that could be better. It looks really, um, what's the word? Uh, inconvenient. Uh, <laughs> That's what well, masks are, though. I, know. I mean, <laughs> you can have that. It won't fit me. I, I don't want it. I, <laughs> my face is too pretty to hide. <laughs> sure, why not? But I guess, yeah. It's a guy or a girl. I'm not aware. Hmm? With my natural 20, can I sense the gender? <laughs> uh, well, all I can say is you don't see breasts, so you can do with that what you want. I'm gonna guess male without <laughs> any... Without pres so. without presuming oh. they're a flat-chested female? I will say <laughs> they them. Okay. <laughs> Also, that doesn't look inclusive. like an owl pet. It looks like it's definitely. Leashed. Well, that's just what the bounty yeah. said, and they probably couldn't see the rope when they were doing the bounty. Yeah, it looks like he's got one hostage. Ah, sad. Poor owl. Did you know they're actually the slowest flyers in all of the birds? They're entirely useless when like sending mail. Really? You'd have a better time with hawks or like pigeons. Yeah, but they're also stealth flyers, so they don't need speed. True. It's, if you're trying to send something that's like really stealthy and you don't have like a time date, but usually like if you don't have if you have a deadline and you need shit done fast, just like a hawk or something. Yeah, I don't know. Eh, oh, we're look we're looking for this guy, right? Yeah, that's the guy. Just fucking slaps the the little like bounty thing. Yeah. Okay. That's right. him. Let's get her. Okay. Get her down. So you spend another five to ten ish minutes traversing the um knee slash waist high dry grass. Uh oh. Little... Try not to pull any fire out of your ass. <laughs> uh, and you approach the edge of the forest for what once was daylight. As you peer into the forest, it looks like there's some form of night. From how dense the tree lines become. It's like you know, daylight you know looking into a cave. I type of forest. I don't know. Uh, Terra Preta. Terra no. Preta? No, that's a type of soil. Um, I mean, the Amazon rainforest is so dense that there's parts of it that have never been discovered. Like, so, like... A canopy, there's like a huge canopy. It's making it so dark. They're usually just called eerie. So it was Terra Forest. Man. Oh, because you did get a natural 20, I want to make sure that you're aware for your perception check. Um, something that's not on the image is he's wearing the little like belt he has I, I don't know if there is one on the image but it there is one and it has 
uh, three kind of smoky green crystals. Um, man's got jade adorning his belt. It looks like some kind of green crystal. Are they the same type of like crystals that we got from the elf forest? Uh, they look like that. Oh, so they're just literally crystals. Mm-hmm. Oh. Funky. But they're like the hexagonal crystals with straight flat sides. Alright. So that's a thing to keep an eye out for is something green. Glistening. As you approach the, finally reach the edge of the forest, um, and you decide to enter into the darkness, I would like for Lazar to do, um, actually let's do a skill challenge to find him, where you need three successes out of five back and forth of different skill checks to find him. From both of us, or just Lazar? From, it's from both of you. One of you has to go first, then the other, back and forth, until you get three out of five. Or, you fail, and then you get lost. Well, you also gotta remember, we can't get lost unless it's by magical means. True, but you also just might lose the trail, or something, then. I mean, yeah. But yeah, you're right. Since you're in the forest, you can't get Dark lost. Fish. You'll know how to get your way out. But it's also not large enough of a forest for you to uh, permanently get uh, lost, and you just walk straight until you hit an edge. Briefly before we get started, <clears throat> I'm going to start playing a little eerie pluck pluck tune on my loop, okay. and I'm going to give my friend here some bardic inspiration. So you have a 1d6 for any ability check. Attack roller saving throw. That way you can give yourself a little bit of a boost or something. Well, yes. in forest, I also have I have double my proficiency in. You never know, partner. Yeah. That's true. It doesn't hurt, and I believe that lasts for the next minute. Ten minutes. Oh, neat. Even better. So. What would you like to do? What skill check would you like to do, and why are you choosing that one? Stealth, so obviously he doesn't pick up where we are. Okay, sounds I like good. Stealth. Um, With your new would... armor, that'll be helpful. Yes. I'm gonna say survival for tracking him. Well, just do, just do stealth first, that's it. Okay. okay. And then uh, Milo has to do one after you. Yeah. Okay. And so that has double my proficiency bonus. I don't know how that... Your proficiency bonus is plus 7. So if it's double that, then it's 14. So well, since you rolled a 4, then it's an 18. You just add 7 to that, so it would be an 18. Yeah. Okay. Which Damn. Is... Wait, well, hold on. Double your proficiency bonus? Let me... Here, let me... Because your proficiency bonus is not plus seven. Uh, your proficiency bonus would be plus two or plus three. Yeah, my right. proficiency bonus is plus three. Okay, cool. I, so then you would I, add I three on top of that at, for a 14. I looked at the auto proficiency bonus like an idiot. The, well, I was like, that's not a proficiency bonus. That's a little high not for if that. that was, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, whenever he's in the forest, he gets a plus 14. Okay, I gotta keep that in mind then. <laughs> it says, while tracking other creatures, you also learn the exact num their exact number sizes and how long ago they passed through the area. Yeah. True. That's good. So, with that, it's... I'm going to have to count this one as a fail, because you got a 14. Unless he rolls his bardic die. That's true. I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's do that. Roll a DC. That, that means if you roll it, you succeed. <laughs> oh, because it's you're, a 15? Because, yeah, it's a 15. Okay. 
Uh, so if you use that, it's a guaranteed success because the lowest you get is a one. Roll that motherfucker, D6. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Great. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, with that, um, as you're progressing through the forest, one of those obscure hunter's guild traps far outside of its location um Milo points it out with a very silent whisper I want to imagine oh. it's like a watch the book <laughs> yes yes uh, a loot whisper <laughs> 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 So, what is Milo's contribution? An unnatural 20. Of what? Uh, I rolled a 17 on plus what? 3 on my stealth. No, no, no. Okay, so I, maybe I didn't explain it well. Oh. Um, for the skill challenges, if somebody has oh. done something already, you cannot do the oh. same thing again. Oh, it would be like rolling stealth for the group? It's effectively, yeah, you're the one leading the stealth role. Somebody else is okay. doing... Can um, I? Yeah. I'm going to guess I'm going to have to re-roll. I can't keep that 17, but I will decide on something. Uh... I'm going to say you can keep it. You just have to pick oh. what it is. Uh, I'm going to say animal handling, and I'm going to try to see if I can... Okay, I got I got something for you do something with that because um, I noticed the owl okay let's say that the owl is actually or you notice a similar owl you don't know if it's the same one mm -hmm. uh, and you pull out some food throw it and it swoops down and picks it up and then flies back into the tree and stares at you. I just give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Alright. We got two out of three already. That's good. Uh, what about... What's what's Lazar's next thing? I would say, honestly, just survival to track him. That's what him, I was I expecting. Guess. Yeah, that's what I was uh. expecting. <laughs> Should have probably gone with that, but birds. It's yeah. fine. I have a proficiency in both stealth and survival, so I yeah. mean. Yeah, I only have proficiency in stealth. I was gonna do that because I have plus three, but. <laughs> yeah, well, I have plus seven. <laughs> and so. Okay, flex it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goddamn d twenty. Uh, natural, natural twenty. 20. <laughs> I'm fine, dude. Okay. So. As you enter the, uh, as you go around a section of the tree line, it kind of maneuvers in a way where you come around a corner and there is out of like what looks like roots and branches is um, a little table and he is sitting there with his feet on the table looking at you guys through his mask looking at us mhm mm so he knew he we were there i mean his pet owl was fed <laughs> uh -uh. Oh. Okay. So he sees us. He's fully aware of your presence. Alright. And gently pats two chairs that were also formed out of uh, branches and roots and doesn't right. say anything. I'm gonna saunter over and sit. No, yeah, same. Taking I'm just... off my hat at the same time to put it over I'm gonna. Chairs. I'm gonna, like put the chair on the opposite side of him that okay. way we're you know across the table from each other i'm gonna sit as close as possible okay. knees touching it's kind of like it's sexual sure he just looks at you for 
a little yeah. more than you're comfortable with, and then turns and oh, faces. I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna smack the bounty down on the table and be like, "You're just scaring folks around here." There's just a complete silence, and he just kind of tilts his head to the side. We procured a bounty for you. Uh, yeah, I just like the simplicity of it. So, uh, does he not speak common? Can I try speaking to him in Elvish? Sure. Because I, I I noticed his ears from the picture. Sure. I'm just going to say the same thing and be like, there's a bounty on you and you're just scaring people around here. Uh... And if we, I would rather it come to peaceful terms, but. I'm going to pretend like I understand what's going on. <laughs> uh, he kind of sets a little root carved out like small portion of a trunk that's been made into a coffee mug uh, he puts it down on the table and kind of lights the end of a couple dry portions of the table that look like candles they're, they're just dried roots but the base of it is wet so it doesn't it won't spread. Mm -hmm. So effectively just producing some light. Mm -hmm. uh, and kind of doesn't necessarily understand what you're trying to portray with your speech patterns. If he doesn't understand us. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I could do something to where you do. <laughs> I can cast something where we, you can understand me and I can understand... Well, you can't understand me, but I will understand you. He puts his right hand on the table and out of nothing, a root cup comes up and he pushes it towards you. It's empty. But he tilts his head and com and is very confused. You know what? I'm going to just take my fucking water flask out, pour it, and start drinking it. <laughs> uh, when you pour it, uh, that one's an illusion. Oh. Are, are you talking Damn. about um, into your own cups? No, okay. into the, the, the cup that he tried to give me. Yeah, that one's that one's an illusion. That does nothing. You pour the water on the the made table. On the table? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lazar's just going to be like, bruh. <laughs> uh, he, he kind of like waves like he's trying to waves his hand over a pot of boiling water kind of thing where he's trying to like brush steam out of the way and the uh, water kind of dissipates into like a little rain cloud and then moves across and pours out onto the table on the other side. So what you're telling me is he's a druid. Mm, question mark. I'm just gonna look at my friend Lazar <laughs> over here and just like give him just give him a look and go, what the fuck are we gonna do now? <laughs> this is it's why I said like I'm sorry. Like, it's not like he's aggressive. So it's not, we have no reason to fight him. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we could just go back to the city hall and tell them that he's not a threat. He's just I'm living in the forest. Uh, here, um. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna look at the guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like. Are the chairs movable at all? Uh, the... you can try. I assume so, since well, I assume yeah. so since I moved mine for, across the table. That's true. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move my chair where I'm sitting, like where I'm facing him, and then I'm gonna scoot his chair where he's facing me. Okay. Do you understand the words I'm that I'm speaking to you? Do you understand me, boy? <laughs> uh, no, he's gonna look him. He's gonna look at him. And he's gonna. He's gonna hold his hands up, and he's going to try to mime it. Where he's like, he's gonna point at him, and it be like you, and he's gonna be like, uh, like a stabbing motion, and then do a head nod or a no head shake. Like, are you? Dangerous. And then Lazar's gonna catch the hint and like hold the bounty up and see if he can and interpret the, it. Yeah, he'll point at that. Uh. Let me see. Do you want me to perf do like a performance to see how well I do this too? Sure, I'll take that. That is an unnatural twenty. Perfect. Uh, could you... I have a plus seven in performance. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a stealthy boy. You're trying to like portray the you hostile, aggressive person. Yeah, I'm asking the uh, yes or no question. Are you hostile? Uh, I would like for each of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh god. Fourteen. Okay. Twelve. Okay, hold on. I need to see what is. Oh, also, yeah. I apparent. Uh, is he? He's a. Um, obviously, he's a humanoid. I just. I didn't realize this, but apparently, I have advantage on survival checks to track them. Oh well, I mean. <laughs> It's all good. We got it already. Doesn't your natural <laughs> natural twenty already cover it? <laughs> yeah. You're you bad. can roll again with advantage if you want to. I also have <laughs> um, advantage on int checks to recall information about them. Oh, that's great. Well, let's see how this wisdom goes. <laughs> uh. So. Um. Based off of how this goes, uh, both of you drop whatever you're currently holding in absolute fear and feel an instinctual urge to run as far away as possible. Oh, did he just use fear on us? I, I'm not holding anything. Everything me neither. is just on me. Yeah, the only thing I would, might be holding is uh, the, water. the water skin. Yeah. But I, I poured the water out, realized it wouldn't work, and <laughs> just put the cap back on it and fucking sure. put it back. <laughs> yeah, if, I didn't think any of you guys were actually holding anything at the moment. I'm holding my... I, I was holding my hat. I'm pretty sure I put it on the table. So I'm just gonna, like... <laughs> so you, you both dash into the woods, trying to get away from... Whatever thing it frightened you so uh, far, it triggered f the flight response. So uh, we can move up to our walking speed, which is 30 feet. Correct, but it also yeah, ends as in as if the creature ends its turn in a location where it doesn't have direct line of sight. Uh, you can make a, a wisdom saving throw again. So both of you can do that again. A tree. Yeah. So. yeah, that's what I was kind of What's expecting. the DC to pass? Uh, just tell me what the number is. Fuck, it's lower. 13. Unnatural 20. Uh, cool. So, Lazar, you see that, um, he's still just sitting there. You have been... Singling? Nope. His feet are up. On the table, or on the chair that you ran away from. He's drinking his dirt water tea again. I'm just hyperventilating behind a tree. Correct. <laughs> oh, mama. Give you me do, bread. You do, Lazar, you do see that Milo is freaking out behind a tree. Trying to avoid like icons. Is Milo near me? Uh, yeah, you can also definitely hear him. Like, oh, heavy breathing. Lord, Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
Can I, like, oh. walk up to Milo and be like, snap out of it, he's doing something. Uh, sure. Why don't you make the save, have Milo make the save again with the advantage this time? Alright. Oh, thank god that was with advantage. <laughs> Didn't help! I rolled a natural one and a natural two! Oh my god. <laughs> Milo is petrified. I'm shooting myself, man. I'm gonna slap him! Oh. <laughs> no, don't worry, mate. <laughs> don't... <laughs> Watch uh, this. <laughs> An arm strike, zero damage. Do it again. <laughs> Do it just... again. <laughs> do, do I roll again with the <laughs> No, you you're done. Okay. <laughs> Does the feathers across his face wake him up? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have Milo make a charisma save with advantage since you're uh tickle slapping his face. <laughs> That's all I can do. Oh, I know. Fuck. Okay, <laughs> eleven. <laughs> Okay, hold on. We're gonna have a private conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Oh, I'm okay. Great. Okay, just checking. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure what scares your character because it's new. Are there anything from your character's past that would actually be terrifying that's not just, like, big scary monster? Oh, uh, I know. Um, you hear your partner's voice who hurt you. And th they're saying, there's no way I would ever take you back. You're not worth my time. That's it. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Hello. Um, I, I was gonna start running into the woods screaming their name. Okay. Um. What? Let me check something here. Can you... Before you do that... I would like for you to roll a d100 for me, Howie. D100. Yeah. Come on, let me find it. It's somewhere down here. Um. It is. A 14. Okay. Um. So. Instead of doing that. The character starts to you start to retreat into your mind and you end up becoming paralyzed in fear. Um, he like starts to stand up and then just falls on his face for like eight minutes. You have a one point of madness at the moment. Oh jolly! From the numerous what the fuck is fails. Up with my characters. What the fuck? <laughs> I had the, this is my second character and. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm so lucky yet lucky. This is just the way it's rolling out, man. It's, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> What's Lazar doing in this moment? I guess Lazar's just gonna realize and just like fucking leap up into a tree. Thanks for leaving me in my time of need. <laughs> what is Lazar gonna fucking do? No, oh, no tree man. What will you do? Yeah, because he I'm a doesn't. Bird man. He, uh, um, Milo does not run away. They're petrified in place. Yes. Okay. So, so you... as long as he stays in place, I can watch him. Okay. Cool. Um... Lazar said, "Fuck it." <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm. Let's see. You know what? Um, you look back to the table, uh, 
Milo, would you mind describing what your partner looked like? Um, they are like a dark-skinned, uh, just, I want to imagine they're like a, a dark-skinned, I guess, I never thought about what they'd look like, so at this moment I'm just going to spring up something up out of nowhere and then draw them later. Okay. Uh, a dark-scaled dragonborn, not really identifiable as male or female, with large horns, and they have a very pretty yet masculine face, and they they got a very nice, um, slender yet toned body. What color are the like, scales? The scales, like, they're they're almost like a black color, but they seem to have, like, a bit of white and a little bit of, like, a iridescent look to them. Like, almost like they're ethereal. Like, not real, but he knows they were real. So this is I what... I try speaking to them at Draconic. This is what the um, person who was there looks like. Sitting at the table. Uh, you can try. Absolutely. I'm just gonna be like, who are you? Uh, there's still a complete lack of response. It's not... It's more like acknowledgement that you're speaking at him, but complete lack of comprehension. I wonder if they even know they're doing this. Uh, and if Lazar is not doing anything... Can I... Mm -hmm. Can I just see if, like, they themselves are an illusion with, like, an insight, insight or arcana check or something? Sure, absolutely. Try an arcana check. Thirteen. Uh, they are sitting there. What about insight? You can try it. Seventeen. Uh, yeah, they're, I mean, they're sitting there, it seems like it, at least. I really <laughs> have the feeling that mm -hmm. they aren't... Hmm. Lazar's just gonna walk back up. Walk back up what? He's in a tree. To where he's sitting. Oh, okay. To me? Wait, please. Brand, come back. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna, like, try and move with Milo. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's like moving a statue. You just kind of drag his, his butt horizontally <laughs> back to a chair. even so he still they still haven't attacked us and they definitely could have and I'm still paralyzed for how long um, eight minutes I would say probably th three to probably four more like minutes yeah and Please tell me my hat's still there. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Okay, Lazar good. picks up the hat and puts it on Milo. <laughs> okay. Thank you for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not I'm just fucking... Milo. This is our low. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Can I do, like, a survival check to see if he's actually, like, a th and, like, to us? Like, instinctually survival? I, sure. I don't know. 
you could do um, a survival check, sure. Yeah, and it would be with advantage, I think. I actually think your 17 insight would count to this. Because okay. it, that's, that applies more than a gut instinct, because insight would be the true insight. the threat rating. Um, absolutely, terrifyingly, yes, a threat, as well as not a threat at all. It is both minutes. sides. <laughs> But since he is a threat, he's not acting on it. He probably knows that too, because he, they, whatever they are, they're emitting a fear aura, intentionally. You do recall that it was specifically after um, Milo, Milo mentioned, um, do you know that you're scaring people? So they actually they probably do. Maybe not. But maybe that was him showing us that he knows that he's yeah. people. Ah, that's the scariest part. <laughs> Knowledge. Insert Lame shrug in DM. Knowledge. <laughs> Let me know when I can move. Um, I would say unless Lazar is doing stuff. Is Lazar I, I, doing anything I think else? Lazar is just gonna have his fucking like elbows on the on the table, just like th thinking as hard as he could about <laughs> what to do next. Thing. The biggest of things. I mean, to be fair, Lazar is quite well. I don't know if a twelve is quite intelligent. Uh, it's a, it's above that. average. It's more intelligent than me, I'm a 10. I'm average. Hmm. So is Lazar doing anything else in the next couple minutes? Hello cat in the middle of the floor. Well, seeing as how one wrong move, Lazar could probably just die. He's thinking about what to do next. <laughs> because if a uh, creature's strong enough to do that I'm thinking I outside of Lazar I'm thinking it's a fucking demon shrugs and DM <laughs> I mm -hmm. said it for you my no. mm -hmm. silence was the shrug and DM <laughs> the silence is happening <laughs> the silence is worrying to be fair now that you bring it up it is actually incredibly quiet around here in the forest. I'd like to move. Okay. I mean I'm gonna say unless Lazar has anything they're doing no. right now. Yeah, at this point you start with um Milo's ability to kind of be now in the presence of the creature again and seeing that Lazar is not afraid of it. Um, after eight minutes, Milo does not feel or is beginning to calm down enough to where he's able to move on his own again. Okay. Your anxiety attack, I guess in this case it would be a panic attack, passed. <laughs> Probably just get on his knees. Just hold the hat against his face in embarrassment. <laughs> Deep breath. Stand up. Look at Lazar. <laughs> Wait for the go. Uh, and Lazar, by the way, you definitely do see a very fancy sword on his back. As yeah. well as one kind of dragged on the floor. Just the left arm limp. Probably up he's... against the... Yeah. Well, since he has his feet up, I'm guessing it's, like, leaned up against the table where he can, like, quite easily reach it. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. That works. Fuck, I have no idea what to do, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna just use message real quick. Just okay. Send it into the Lazar's head. Just, 
Give me the go when you're ready, partner. <laughs> I'm feeling mighty murderous. <laughs> I feel dumb, and I, I want to let it out. <clears throat> I hmm. What's your con modifier looking like? Uh zero. Okay. So with message, can I talk back to you? I believe so. Okay. Mm -hmm briefly look at is it a cantrip or a spell it's a cantrip you can reply in a whisper yes okay so i'm gonna like tell uh, milo to look away and then i'm gonna use my racial ability called dexterous leap and then leap up into the trees <laughs> with, and pull out my bow okay if, if you want to see it Oh, whoops. Not that's not what I meant to do. Yo. Okay. All right. I guess I'll I have needs to make a con save. Yeah. Okay. Or be blind. Uh 17. All right. Eight plus proficiency, so it's three. Let me see if I can turn off a roll to GM. No, it, it rolled it for us. Oh, okay, cool. I just want to yeah, make sure you saw it. saw it. So eight plus three plus your dexterity modifier, which is a four. Four. So that's seven. Like Fifteen. 11 plus four. Fifteen. So he passes. Yeah. He seems to, like, stare right. at you as you, like, slowly moving just the head upwards as you jump into the tree line. No reaction of fear. Just seeing. I didn't expect him to have a reaction of fear. Yeah. He's just there. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to set up a reaction where if he reaches for his sword, I'm going to shoot at his hand. Okay. To, like, try and disarm him. Sounds good. Either sword. Gotcha. Whether the one on his back or the one leaning against the table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either or. Uh, neither of those happened. I guess I'm gonna. <laughs> Hold on, I need to check something too. No, you you're good. Sorry. I'm trying to see what I can do, but a lot of my stuff is wisdom based, and I think if he's a druid, he's got high wisdom. So... I don't think it's a druid anymore. All right. The, the fact that it was illusion magic. But I also you... don't know if he can be charmed. Well, I mean, there's nothing stopping you from trying. Yeah, I do. I am prepped to shoot. He does have Elvis features. <laughs> yeah. So he. Might yeah, but you said he was a dragon. Well, that's what he looks like. I, oh, so it was like, oh, it is illusion magic then. All right. What you what you do see is the dragon form switch back into what was there originally. Like the scales go inside the skin and turn into like humanoid flesh again. Can I take this opportunity while he has looked up to attack? Sure. Let's All roll right. initiative. 
Yeah. Uh, turn order. Uh, you need to select, right click, add turn order. Uh, I got 11 and a 12. I think the 12 is yours. What's uh, Milo's? Rolled a 19 plus 3, that's a 22. Cool. That fits the situation we're in. Um, yeah, kind of yeah. does. Let's do... Add a turn. For a... Uh, it'll work. Let's see. There you go. All right. Let's pull up the map we have ready. Oh, golly gee. Damn, he's huge. No, it's just so I could find his token. <laughs> I can on the map. only see black. You should be able to see more than black. I will restart my page. No, it's also very small. You might need to zoom out. Yeah, Dude, probably. I zoomed all the way out. <laughs> so I'm gonna there, restart. It's it's a it's a huge map and your tiny characters. I know, but I zoomed all the way out. Uh, let me see if I can make the map smaller. Uh, if you, can you see that? No, if you haven't put, have you put my token down? Yes. Uh, have you given me the ability to see in... Maybe you can't see your own token. Maybe it's not controlled by. Correct. It's not controlled by. Okay. That, uh, that one. Save settings. There we go. Cool. Uh, I'm going to say Lazar's probably up... Oh, cool. That works. I was gonna say up here, but that where you are works too. That's fine. Uh, it's only well, hold on. I I assume I was like right here. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? What is the button to do the ruler again? Uh, uh, the ruler is underneath the magnifying glass. Yeah, but there's a hotkey for it. Uh, I totally. I do not know what that is. The ruler is. It allows you to measure. I know. But he's asking. Also, if you right click, it does fun things. I didn't know that. I did know that it does that if you are holding a token and you can click and it moves it like that. Let's say Lazar is over here. That. Okay, that works for me. Because yeah. it's 15 feet. I think it's only 15 feet in one direction, and everything within 10 feet needs to make a con save. Yeah. But I'm just... I just imagine that, like, whenever Lazar, like, fucking does the action, it, like, just kicks up dust. I would say it does a little bit, yeah. Uh, my roommate's little tiny human has woken up, so I'm going to talk a little bit more quietly for a moment. But I'm, you, you're fine. I have headphones. <laughs> no. Oh Not yeah, no. you want ASMR? <laughs> okay. Uh, so descending order is Milo first. Even though it says. I don't know what that is, and I don't like I it. I didn't like it. It's <laughs> not like I was the cat being petted aggressively by a child. <laughs> okay. 
So <laughs> I'm going to attack with my Yukla. Okay. Just falling, getting ready to conduct. So. Drop my dice again because I was just staring at it for so long. Um, so second natural 20. Okay, nice. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna put this dice away. I feel like I'm no, cheating. keep it. I no. feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> I don't want to get talked to by therapy. Like, are you telling me the right thing? I don't care. No. You're okay. fine. I trust <laughs> you. Therapy has trust in us. Second natural 20, 23. Uh, I, you got a natural one and a natural two earlier. I'm not doubting oh. your natural t your natural numbers. Okay. Uh, also, um, since I also since I hit it, I'm going to use my mobile flourish, which is a special I have thanks to being a so a sword um, bard. A sword. Uh, a sword. Um, whenever I take attack action on my turn, my walking speed increase by 10 feet. Okay. Uh, and if my attack weapon hits, I can expend a use of my bardic inspiration die to do extra damage equal to the number I roll, uh, as well as I can push the target up to 5 feet plus the number rolled. Okay, perfect. And I am gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have Toothless use his reaction as well to, okay. uh, Enchant the weapon. Yes. Or, awesome. I gotta sounds, find it. Sounds great. Make it out to D8 in my D6. There you go. <laughs> two extra lightning damage. Shit, so I get two on top of my D8 and my D6. Yep. Uh, and I believe your damage is doubled. Because uh, that's how he does 20. crits. My base damage, my base D8 gets damage doubled. I think I do all of it. You do all of it? Shit. I, I don't... I'm not Maybe. sure about that. I think it's just base damage. Just, just do base damage so I don't... Because otherwise it would just oh, yeah, get out of control really quickly. No, you're correct. It is base damage, just not all of the bonuses. So. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're plus dou two. Double the dice. Uh, two, natural eight, so uh, ten. Okay. Plus a five with the double damage, mm -hmm. so, um, 15 plus a three on the d6, so that's 18 damage in total, plus he moves eight feet in, uh, backwards. Eight feet in him backwards? Okay. So this way. Why, okay. why eight feet? That's so specific. <laughs> because it's five plus the number rolled, and I rolled a three. Um, so I'm going to say that pushes him into the trunk of a tree. Off of... How dare you impersonate the person I <laughs> fucked. Uh, the man kind of is on the ground, I would say prone at this point. But also not at the same time. I'd He's say just like back against the. I would say back tree. against the tree. I mean, he was laying down with his feet up and was pushed. Oh, I, I also totally forgot because I have. Uh, no, no, no! Wait, I, uh, I forgot about the plus five to my damage. Okay. I haven't even added that since they got doubled. I get another ten added to that, so it's actually twenty-eight damage. Okay. So 28. <laughs> no, 28. That's fine. Is that with the plus two from Toothless? Yes, it is with the plus two from Toothless. Very pog. Very pog. Okay. That information has been noted. Why does my dragon have more wisdom than me? <laughs> Good question. Dude, mood. Actually, wait, no. A... We have the same. I had a character that had a boar that was more powerful than she was. Though what I am concerned about is that whenever, before I upgraded my armor, my dragon had a, my baby dragon had a higher armor class than me. <laughs> I'm so proud of this community. The uh, <laughs> armor class is based off the movement speed and how he flies around fast. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. All right. Just like your speed. armor is from your dexterity right now. 
I'll do a, a pose because I feel cool. <laughs> I'll good. just like hold out the weapon. Oh my god, wait, hold on. No, I got you. Hold on, I got you. He uses his reaction to try to balance himself before mm -hmm. falling prone. That's his actual reaction. He sticks his hand on the tree and then he kind of tries to stabilize himself. Here you go. What have you done? <laughs> oh, yes! Oh my god, the Dante! Yes! <laughs> That is so him. Or <laughs> this. <laughs> Y'all, <Yo>, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you said, strike a pose with a cowboy hat. That's literally all I can think of. <laughs> I love that. All right, that's canon. <laughs> right. You know what else is canon? Speaking of that, Lazar. <laughs> subtly calling Lazar <laughs> cannon. No, not subtly. <laughs> you're turn. you're able to completely demolish creatures, so uh your turn. First things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast with my last remaining spell slot, mm -hmm. Hunter's Mark. Not surprised. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Naturally, always do Hunter's Mark. Yep. I only really do it on bigger creatures, to be fair. Kill this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I'm still not helped. Wish he had a hat. I'd say I'd take his hat. But he, doesn't have a hat. <laughs> he does not have a hat. Nope. Any creature he has a mask. Steal their hats, they have a... His mask is stupid. <laughs> Great. Still really confused on how Hunter's Mark works whenever you cast it. Do you know, <laughs> Allie? Like because uh, I know it has you roll, like, the extra damage, but is is like the extra, a... The extra damage it rolls happens, twice. The extra damage happens when you hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, like, what is the weapon type damage? Is it rolling for the, the, no, the weapon we type damage? The weapon type damage is two additional damage of the type of weapon you're using. Yeah, so if you oh, use a bow, okay. it does two additional piercing, piercing. damage. Yeah. Okay, so if it was a sword, it would be slashing. Correct. And then obviously mm -hmm. with every yeah. everything that doesn't fall into those, it would be bludgeoning. Yeah, I want to imagine with the bow, it's like it, it does like the the red dot like a sniper. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, what's it called? A solid snake with his, uh, <laughs> with his bazooka. Or you just, it's like you just see all like the points coming, like like circling around until eventually like a join together. Yeah, it's just like Wally. Locked okay. on. Just like the rockets landing in Wally at the beginning. <laughs> SMH. Then I'm just gonna fucking. Oh god. <laughs> uh, that's a that. No, it's not. Uh. Oh, I got a two. Yeah, that Almost does not hit. End. How did you miss? <laughs> How did you miss? He moved his arm. He's, he's <laughs> prone, right? You said he's prone. No. No. He's just back up against the tree. I, I, so didn't, like, I didn't want to do prone because if I do prone, Lazar has isn't that advantage. An okay. Isn't that just like an automatic crit? Nope. It's an automatic crit for melee weapons. It's disadvantage uh, for ranged weapons. Uh, okay. Okay, well, I got one more. What? No, that same number doesn't hit. Why does it... Okay, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> well. I literally... So what happens is I shoot an arrow into the tree trunk, and then I shoot an arrow directly again Both into the it? same exact spot I shot that other arrow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least you shot the arrow again. It's true, that's impressive. <laughs> it's a show of intimidation. <laughs> it's a warning shot. I didn't miss. I'm just intimidating you. Yeah. <laughs> and I... uh, you're done? I'm wondering if I'm gonna have Toothless do anything. That's a good question. Where do you gotta make my Toothless token? Uh, never. <laughs> Aww. Yes, I keep forgetting. 
third, second, and third. For some reason, whenever people are about to say things, I always think they're going to say another word. I thought you were, you say when are you gonna make? Whenever you said when are you gonna make, I thought you were gonna say when are you gonna make rib. <laughs> <laughs> like there we go. This is people saying neck and neck. I think of <laughs> that's naked. the token, the circle. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. The circle of death. <laughs> <laughs> and then he bites. Does a 13 hit? Uh, no, it does not. What the f- Okay, well. You examine a little more closely, and there seems to be a minor shimmer around his form. Fucking it is a- Can I do an arcana check again to see if it's an illusion? Uh, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> uh, also- to discern, based off the way magic works in D and D, from my perspective, and the way I believe it is written, which I can be proven wrong, it takes an action to discern whether something is is an illusion. Yeah. I didn't know that. Because otherwise, the entire wizarding school of illusion could be n yeah. n nullified with yeah. could be nullified with a reaction or just a bonus action. Plus, you already took your reaction whenever you were waiting to hit. So, your reaction's been gone. Yeah. So, I'm gonna say no. Alright. But you feel weird that your arrows didn't hit. We can go with that. And then Toothless is now next to this guy. <laughs> He's wide. <laughs> He's wide. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You've been overfeeding him again. Okay, what is Toothless soon? Well, he tried to hit or bite. Oh, is that what that was? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's why I tried to see if the okay. 13 is that hit. What that feeble attempt was? And I'm guessing <laughs> nothing else, right? I, he can't really do anything else. Uh, is actions in combat? Are those actions? Yes, those are actions. Yeah, that's really all he can do. Okay. Uh -huh. So now I think it's our lovely thing. So turn. the the man with the mask and has uh his hand on the tree, which he pulls away f from the tree, and there's something attached to it. He's pulling out uh, what looks like a uh, humanoid female from the bark of the tree. Uh, Nani? This is what you guys see as he uses an entire action to pull this out of the tree. Out of character. What the fuck? It appears to be a woman made out of tree bark and moss. Oh, shit. Well, let me see. Now I gotta hit a woman. <laughs> Uh, I need to see when it shows up in the turn order. Uh, Rich sort of oh, rolls initiative and takes its own turn. Okay. Great. And it rolled he a two. He just summoned something. He sure did. <laughs> This is my wife, don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> she's really big and tall and has these boobs and she's, I have three, I have two others and we smoke weed. My the, three weed the, smoking girlfriends. The boobs don't look <laughs> actually that big. They're um, bigger than you think. <laughs> no one tries her. I love her, she's my wife. Okay. 
Um, so she shows up here. If I can pull her token out from the abyss down below. <laughs> no, it's not that big. Uh, they get a turn. And so... The creature from the tree is going to cast a spell as well. Uh, let's get... What is the... Oh, okay, I have it there. I don't want to search the whole internet. I just want to search Cindy Beauty Beyond. Okay. Can I get... Let's do... The person who was more aggressive in their damage, which I believe was Milo. Well, yeah, I didn't do any damage. Mm, fuck. <laughs> can I get Milo to make a wisdom saving throw? Sure can. Uh, what's the number before two? One. Yeah. Neat. <clears throat> um, in a very, like, on the wind kind of sound, you hear the woman say, join us, and you start to, like, feel like your skin is turning into tree bark. Oh, I'm getting so hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Why does come with benefits? So at the end of each of its turns, the target makes another wisdom saving throw. So it would be your turn, uh -huh. but your turn is passed over completely. And it is a wisdom saving throw for you. I'm going to get out my other dice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like the one that I just used. Oh, natural 20! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, at, one's cursed. at the end of your turn, you are no longer paralyzed from a hold person. Literally feast or famine. It's either you roll natural ones or natural twenties. This is true. I There's... hate this purple <laughs> dice. I hate it. My ex gave it to me. It's cursed. I'm never using it again. That uh, may be a good idea. Um. All right. It is Lazar's turn. Because I'm gonna do the same thing. Wait, okay. So with Hunter's Mark, do you re-roll it, ev or do you re-roll it every turn, or is it whenever you just cast it, or like recast it? What does it say? I don't know the spell. I don't tend to play characters that have that spell, Hunter's Mark. Until the Spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack. So I'm guessing it's just 1d6 damage whenever. So you, I would say roll every time. Okay. Yeah, I think it has a lasting... Uh, it lasts... A, it, yeah, it has a duration and it lasts, but the damage variant is different every time you hit. Yeah. It lasts an hour... And until it ends, you deal an extra d6 whenever you hit, and you have advantage of wisdom. Uh, wisdom and survival yeah. checks. Okay. Okay. Well, there's that. Okay. Google. I'm just gonna. I'm assuming if I kill the thing that makes the summon, the summon disappears. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, if you kill it before the duration ends, you can use your bonus action to switch your hunter's mark to it if it doesn't die, so. Well, yeah. I'm just going to focus the thing that has my hunter's mark. Exactly, it's... yeah. Just focus. 
Go nuts. Absolutely slay him. Bada bang. There you go, that one hits. Oh, thank god. <laughs> natural 17. Oh, you swear to god. You know what? The natural one for the damage. To... Nope, I'm using my feet to reroll damage. Good Which job, feet buddy. is this? Piercer. Okay, sure. Uh, once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack that deals pretty soon, you can reroll one of the attack damage dice. Cool. You must and you use have the to new use one. the new roll. Mm -hmm. yeah, cool. So, I mean... Yeah, that's better. Okay, that's better. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's... And so then... it gets, uh, three on top of it from Hunter's Mark. Mm -hmm. So. And then also... An extra four for my feathers. Okay. Any other? So eight plus four plus three. Do I have anything four. else? Let me open up the calculator. Eight plus four plus three. Fifteen. Nope, I think that's it. It's 15. And then I will do the exact same thing again! Okay. So wait, what was the damage for that total? 15. 15? Okay. Five. Oh, I actually did 200 damage, so I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? No, don't. Oh. Uh, that's 21 hit. Uh, yes, it does. I'm guessing okay. you're hitting the male, the yeah, one with the mask. Yeah, I'm okay. gonna focus the thing that has my hunter's mark. Sure. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, okay. Ten. Let me clear. Ten plus roll two d four. Whoops, I keep doing that wrong. Yeah. So an extra. Th Three. So 16. And then plus another, th yeah. So 16. Okay. More, right? 16 yeah, 16 more. more. So okay. total, 31 total. Or thir Wait. 30? I thought it was. I thought. Plus. It's alright, I did the math already. 15, yeah. yeah, 31 total. 16. I have 36 total. Oh, sorry, no. Yeah, yeah, I have. I did the math wrong. It's. Okay. It's. 16 plus 15. Six, gotcha. Oh, I thought it was 16 plus 18. I'm stupid. Yeah, 16 plus 15, 31. Cool. Um, <laughs> it seems the damage he's taking is reduced. Um, what? And it seems that the creature he summoned is taking a portion of it. Oh, oh you little bastard. <laughs> Stiffer, you mother. <laughs> It seems their souls are tied together. So it could be an extension of him. It's kind of gay. <laughs> that is really gay. I don't know, man. It's kind of sus. That's fine. And... <laughs> Fucking toothless. Bites the shit out of the woman. Okay. Or at least tries to. Okay. Where is... There it is. Does a 14 hit the girl? Uh, yes. Mm. Damn, he rolled a nat 1. Okay. That damage has been noted. Okay. I'm gonna spread spread the love because it's better that way. What else are you doing? Uh, that's all I can do. Okay. I need to make <laughs> sure that that spell is or is not concentration before I. Uh, it is concentration for an hour. Okay. So, so she I has can... to make a con save. Uh. I don't know exactly how concentration works. Concentration is affected on the spellcaster. 
Yeah. yeah. So does she have kid. to roll a? He does. He because it's a spell that they cast. So to summon them. Uh, con save. To make sure that they don't disappear on them. Right. Ah. So it has to be above their spellcasting ability, I think, or it has to be above their level. No, not oh. their level. I think so... it is. Like their spellcasting ability. It's either a 10, or if the damage is more than 10, then I believe it's equal to that somehow. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> 31 damage. Equals I to think. 10 or half the damage you take, whatever number is higher. So it has to roll a 16. 16, 8, right. Or 8. So it rolled a 18 and a 16. Because it took damage twice. And then the next time, um, it got a... Uh, does that work? Okay. It was a... Mm, I don't want it to, but it doesn't work that last time with the four damage that was shared because I didn't read the concentration spell rules. Mm. That's unfortunate. That's fine. Yes, I made Um... Because it rolled, he rolled a nine, but whatever number is higher means that the DC is a ten, and so he would have failed and lose the summon. Oh well, that's what it is. It is what it is. And then I imagine Toothless just like celebrates. He's like, "Look, <laughs> I killed the thing. Be proud of me, Daddy." Why is he Russian? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my father. I bring you cupcakes um, and you nurture. So, based off the way the character works, let me check. I have to... Was he enraged when losing his wife? No. Um. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, hold on. No. Like the Pope. Pokemon? Is this guy a Pokemon? <laughs> He's uh, a glitched Pokemon? It <laughs> seems like almost all of his life force is drained. He cripples to the floor in a tremendous amount of pain. Oh, now this is just sad. Knock him unconscious. And what else are you doing? Is it is it still combat? Yeah. Okay. Then nothing. Okay. Because it's uh, not my turn. I mean, Toothless. So. I mean, t Toothless already took his action, okay. though. Uh, let me see. To bite the thing. And then the guy uh, that that just... concentration, the way the concentration works, destroyed my encounter. But that's fine. That's the way the rules work. Uh, let's go with. Wait, that, were they sharing damage? Yeah. Or how was that? Okay, so like, even if it attacked her, he would take part of the damage as yeah, well. Yeah, that's why the Kansei failed. Was the four damage that she took was shared with him. He took two of the damage, and therefore. Uh, concentration he, broke somewhere. He broke concentration broke from two damage he took. <laughs> it's like okay, I'm withstanding this. I'm withstanding this. That's why. I, that's why I was disappointed by the way that played out, because it was built to be like a um, the ring of shared suffering kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's there's plenty of boss fights like this. Yeah. I mean, shit happens. He uh, was like distracted by a bug bite. Uh, True. Okay, so if we get his HP to zero, can we just say that we knocked him unconscious instead of killing well, him? Hold on, because he is at one HP right now. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Um. 
he actually ends up vanishing from existence. Ah. Yeah. Do that on your turn, cheater. It is. It He's is after you. Fuck. <laughs> it's not cheating. That's when it happens on his turn. Blink. Um. So he does not. He disappears from the material plane. But if we wait here, if he, he doesn't come back with ten feet, he ten feet that he could see from where wherever he is, not wherever he casts the spell. Yeah, but he can move. Even though he's in pain, it lasts a while. From the space... Oh, hold on. You return to an unoccupied space of the choice that you can see within 10 feet of the space you vanished from. Right. So he's on the ethereal plane, which means he's on this plane of existence, but not on this plane of existence. Basically the same plane ghosts are on. Yeah, yeah. but no, it so says at the start to... of your next turn, so if he'll come back eventually. Yeah, it's within 10 feet of the space he vanished from. So he can only technically appear as far as a cube of like this large yeah that's that's as far as he can go and like, lazar would be able here. to still sense him because of hunter's mark uh -huh. or at least i would have advantage he can't get far at all and each... oh it also doesn't say that either uh on a, on a roll of 11 or higher and he unfortunately got a natural one on this one. So it failed. Yeah. So he didn't even disappear. So he's still there. Knock yeah. his ass unconscious. And then we're gonna... Icky. I, don't have I chose the wrong spell. Mm. That's fine. Warlock from the arch phase. A warlock? Huh. I mean, we could just straight up kill him, too. That works. I mean, I'll leave that up to you. Do you want him beheaded or beneath <laughs> my foot? I mean, honestly, you know what? People like him... Wait. I feel like he'd get out of jail. <laughs> I do, too. Let's it's... just go ahead and fucking, like, off him. F fuck it. All right. At least I'm a little down, yelled the yeller. <laughs> okay, your turn. God Go ahead and it. roll an attack to hit. You have an advantage. He's not unconscious. He's just prone. All right. Natural twenty. <laughs> oh hell! Yeah. I rolled a three and a twenty. What type of weapon are you using? Is it your I, fucking? It... My yakla, it's essentially just a really hard piece of wood that's about like, um, like a f three feet long, I think. It's not very long, actually. It's like, it's, it's just like a stick that he mostly uses to like just walk around with to look intimidating. But I just want to imagine he just uses one hand to just smash it into the top of his head, breaking the stupid mask. <laughs> Uh, behind the f the mask, you actually see like roots have grown into his face. Oh, well, there is no there is no humanoid face there. This is literally just a tree that Green sent me in a way. Uh, I want There is it. no mouth. There is no eye sockets. There's no nose. It's just so a mess of vines. Living wood. Yep. That I'm guessing has illusion magic cast on it, or they can cast it themselves. Yeah. They can cast damage. it themselves. Uh, you do not it. get experience points for the creature who got away, but you do get the ones for this one. Okay. The creature that got away. The one that was the was the summoned one. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. So how many special twenties did I roll? I wrote because the right? I I wrote the character who got away. I created the character who got away from scratch, and it says that if they feel in danger and are below half the max hit points, 
the uh, because of the shared damage. If they can, if they got yeah. below, if the caster got below half max health, the um, creature would steal all except for one of the remaining summoner's hit points and escape with it and heal themselves. Okay. So the other creature was the actual demon, but this is oh. a, a creature that is alive. That was the one that's your Would we bounty be matches. The demon out? I I mean we have nothing to really track the demon with. Uh, it just fucking disappeared and was pulled me... out of wood. And probably chasing after a demon probably isn't a good idea. No, not at this current moment. As what far as it says no in my thing, after she is 120 feet away from the summoner, she disappears. If she dies, the summoner gets their stolen health back. Well. Definitely doesn't sound like a demon I want to fuck with. No, I, I make my at demons... Least not with us. Not with us, too. Yeah. I think we're well equipped, but not well equipped enough. Not for a demon. I think we would need your big metal friend. Yeah. Challenger would be fairly. Easy. I I created four homebrew spells from scratch. I didn't even get to use because I read it wrong, the concentration wrong. It's okay. Yeah, I know it's fine. Depends. But it, you guys succeeded, and that's what matters, too, so... So I, I rolled three natural 20s and a natural one. Yeah. <laughs> rolled two nat 1s and a natural 20. Yeehaw! Wait, how much is a natural 20 each? Let me look 25 at each. 25 each. Yeah. So it's not a lot. But for this one, uh, you guys each get 650 experience for the creature. So I'll put 750 since all four of mine make up to 100. Sure. <laughs> oh, I'm so close. Did you say 650 or 600? 650 each for the creature. Okay. Oh, it just dropped me down to level 2. What the fuck? Maybe just... maybe you didn't oh. have your XP set or something? or is... I don't know. Oh, I accidentally did set XP instead of add XP. Yeah. I think I was... Shit. That's fine. If you were so close, you can... Do you remember how far away you were, roughly? I was at, like, 1,150 XP, I'm pretty sure. So then... I'm just gonna set it up to that, because that's still a little bit and not that much getting into level 4. Like, I, I have nothing getting into level 4. That's, like, I remember just having this tiny little bit into level 3. Okay. So, when I apply it, it just puts me at 1,900, so... I'm, I'm a good bit away until I level up, so I'm okay with this. I'm going to share the spells with you, because I don't expect them to be... Used anytime soon. Yeah. Um, so there was one for, in case you guys decided to try to do... If you guys had done something to make him talk... I think like tongues or something. It says any creature who can talk or something like that. I'm guessing it would be like the demon's hold over him to force him to not talk or the something. The way I was expecting you guys to try to get him to talk was through his owl. Familiar. I, think about that. I was going to try to use comprehend languages, but. Um, so the spells were Madberry. Ooh. Which are. Hold on, let me just see if I, I can't just share it. Um, up to 10 healthy looking berries appear in your hand infused with magic. They appear. Uh, if the berries are inspected, they appear to be good berries, unless they pass a DC 25 medicine, nature, or arcana check. Mm. DC 25? All other checks it's reveal no it. information. It's, it's... Uh, however, after two minutes, individual lose two health for every berry they consume. At this point, the creature needs to make a DC 16 plus one for every berry. 
to not go insane or something to uh, yeah to not go insane if they had six over half so six or more um the the mad the madness table they roll on is long term instead of short term oh speaking of madness um i'm guessing yours no. would be short term yeah. yeah do i get a short term yours was only eight minutes okay okay, okay right. so the so yeah okay the Sweet. other one says 1d 10 hours and then the permanent one oh. is uh like 1d 10 years oh my fucking Jeez. christ but it depends on how traumatic the situation so that was madberry i have call for creatures which is basically like a flock of four cr0 beasts so it was going to be four hour owls started to swarm you guys or bramble skin which is ac 18 uh and weapons can get stuck melee weapons can get stuck in the bramble of their armor kind of like kind of like a mage armor type of thing mm -hmm. except it was like kind of like if you struck like an bramble ooze skin or something wow. yeah <laughs> oh boy and then the last one was strangle Grasping weeds and vines sprout from the ground, uh, causing difficult terrain. The f they must succeed on a s strength save or be restrained. A restrained creature has disadvantage. Uh, like the second, it, it's like an incremental gets worse and worse. Like here's what the image for the spell I put on looks like. Ooh, I love that. So it I feel starts. Like somebody has that a tattoo. It somewhere. it it effectively um, starts to the vines start to crawl down your throat and start suffocating you, blocking your airways. Dude, it looks like the like the the, the dark mark in Harry Potter a little, just the tiniest bit. Just because like the skull with the thing coming out of it reminds me of that so much. I I did that based off of the suffocation status effect when you're not able to breathe yeah. also can I just say mm -hmm. difficult terrain doesn't slow your group's travel travel but this is not travel this is combat I would still be able to move out of it I think probably Either that, or just like be so aware of your terrain and know how it works here. All right, it is currently two seventeen in the morning. Oh my god! Yeah, it's time to go. At ten in the morning, so. I'm, I'm sorry for being late. It's fine. I very much enjoyed this. I'm gonna. We can do a different time. What's on the body? Yeah, my. Yeah, we can. Different. Time. You can just do that in DMs, honestly. I want to take the fancy ass sword. Yeah. You can have it. I'm probably just gonna take like something from him. You could take the sword that is leaning up against the table. Or you can take the time to go to bed, and we'll talk about it at the time. We'll talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. it another time. <laughs> I have. I, I'm gonna go pee and go to bed. Okay. And now I am officially level six. Heck yeah. Good for you, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry that I've been here since day one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Y'all have a great night. You too. You. Bye, bye bye. I gotta go get Quinn. Yeah, of course. I'll talk with you another time. Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs>